Hey, what's up there everybody? Jamie Wagner here again. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching my video here. What I have here for you is the Google Nexus 7, the 2013 second generation tablet. It's the 32 gig model and it's the Wi-Fi only version. What I noticed was I have the OTA version of Android 4.4.2 system update available to me up here in the corner. System update downloaded, it says touch to install. If you guys have that little notification at the corner of yours, then you guys are going to be able to update also. But real quick, I want to show you guys in the settings that I'm currently running. Android 4.4 under build KRT16S. So that's what I currently have on my tablet. And I want to show you guys before I do this the, um, in the camera settings here. If you hold down and look at your three options, I don't see where it says HDR. And I believe that after we do this update, you're going to see that they added the uh, HDR in there. So that's what I'm kind of excited to see here because I know mine has some issues, uh, freezes up a lot, and that's supposed to fix the problem. So this is not a full review. So if you guys don't want to sit through the whole install, um, just be aware that I'm sitting through the whole install. So just so you know, I don't want to waste anybody's time. I'm going to go ahead and start this update. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what you're looking at and what's going to happen when you do the um, update. So there it says here, downloaded and verified, and it says 52.8 megabytes. Yep, 52.8 meg. So Android 4.4.2 system update. And it will upgrade the Nexus 7 to 4.4.2. It's going to see it improves the performance and stability and fixes bugs. So some of the stuff you may not notice like right away. So I do plan on sitting through this entire thing. Again, this is not a review, so I don't want to waste your guys' time. But if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. And when I'm done, I'm going to go in there. and I want to take a look at the camera settings and see if they added that feature in there, which I believe they're going to add in there for the Nexus 7. I really don't think there's that much that, that um, actually changed um, for the Nexus 7 or the Nexus 4. I think it's just general, general stuff, you know, like it's supposed to improve the camera. It's supposed to be a lot faster, um, which I know my Nexus 4 is now that I'm using the HDR. I have turned on HDR, so that's definitely a huge improvement. And um, it's just supposed to have some um, bug fixes and performance improvements. So that's, that's pretty much all. See if I can get my little Android guy to focus a little better here. There we go. So installing system update. Again, I think this is more for the Nexus 5 uh, for the camera issues they were having. Um, I know there was like a lot of shutter lag, um, a lot of motion blur. So there's supposed to be a lot less of that stuff uh, with this update. So there's really not a lot for me to go into detail here with and show you guys like as far as once, you know, we get back to the uh, home screen here. This is just giving you an idea of, of what to expect. And I do like to sit through these uh, full installs like this without cutting out or editing the video. I know it takes about five to 10 minutes, but at least you can see what a normal install is like. That way, you know, if you try it and yours blacks out and you're like, hey, I don't know if that's normal or not. At least you know that, you know, you watched a video where you saw from beginning to end that it was 100% normal. At least gives you guys an idea of what to expect and that it's compatible with your device and there was no issues after I uploaded. So that's kind of why I take the time to sit through the entire video.
I believe that there may be some other enhancements and fixes that uh, were included with this update. Um, I think there was a fix for clearing the, the VM indicator and the delivery of the VM indicator and other just like additional software fixes and, and, a, and some security enhancements. That's about it. But again, a lot of some of that stuff, you know, may not be really visual to you. It's stuff that's kind of in the background and within the operating system. But what I'm really anxious to do here is see if the camera updated um, and has that HDR, which is your high dynamic range feature, uh, which made, oh man, it's just a lot better on my Nexus 4, which I did do a video of this uh, yesterday for the Nexus 4. So you guys can go check out that video if you want. Looks like we're almost done. I think we're going to go ahead and reboot here, get the Google logo. If you guys haven't done this update yet, um, I recommend doing it. It doesn't wipe out your data or anything like that. Everything stays the same. It's just a simple update upgrade. So it's best to keep right up with what, um, what releases come out. So go ahead and spin this guy back around. Again, once we get back on here in a minute, I want to go in and we'll take a look at the camera. Let's see what we got here. Now, now we have to sit through um, optimizing apps. This shouldn't take too long. Definitely seems to be moving along a little faster than the Nexus 4 did for the OTA upgrade. You can also manually do this by sideloading this, this upgrade which I may do later in another video, if anybody's wondering, show you guys how to do that. So we're at 90 here almost. About eight minutes into this video. All right, we're just about done. Looks like it's just optimizing the last app. It's starting apps. So finishing boot. Get this thing opened up. See, everything's pretty much the same. Um, let's go ahead and go in real quick and we'll take a look at the version. Just so we know, there it is, Android 4.4.2 and the build number KOT49H. Let's go ahead and go in and take a look at the camera. See if anything's different here. So this is where I think a lot of the improvements were made, but let's just see if that option's available. Hmm, don't see it in there yet. Picture size. Nope, don't see it. Let's try the video. Let's go back to the camera. So I was hoping to see that they added in to the settings. You'll see, I don't see it right there. There's a good chance it's there is nothing there. Nope, don't see it. So, not what I was hoping for, but I'll go in here and I'll be playing around with it, guys, and I'll see how it works out. I'm sure it's um, going to be somewhat of an improvement. Again, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail here and do any more of a review. 
just want to show you guys um, the update here and that it's compatible with your device. Go in and give this a try and uh, go in and play around with the settings, guys. Thanks a lot for watching my video. You guys have a good one. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thanks, guys.